Hey everyone, so I'm at my mom's house right now, by the way. I don't know about you guys, but once in a while I like to watch one of my old YouTube. I don't know, does anyone ever do that to yourself? Like, do, does anyone like to go back and watch their old YouTube videos just to see what opinions they had at the time? Did they change their opinions? So on, so on. Well, I wanted to talk about this thing I made and it was a video addressed to Old Head about and Old Head is a YouTuber by the way but it was about if Rock was dead or not and I said in that video and I still agree what I said Rock is not dead and I'm talking about the music genre Rock is not dead it's just we don't have, up to this point, have any legends yet. I mean, if you look at the past, like Jim Morrison, Kurt Cobain, um, Janis Joplin even, John Lennon, they were all legends, you know? Nowadays, and it's not like we don't have brilliant people, it's just they're kind of put in the wayside. But... And I said, basically, what's going to happen, because knowing history, you kind of have to know pop music first. Believe it or not, pop music was kind of a big staple at the time in the 60s, 70s, 80s. You, you get what I mean, 90s. Well, the ship usually happens to pop culture first. I have an unpopular opinion at... Even though how much we're supposed to hate the 80s and love everything 90s, which I kind of do, but I guess, okay, I don't necessarily hate everything 80s, but you get what I mean. I think New Wave kind of told part of Grunge's story. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Not because it, it, it was Grunge necessary, because it wasn't, but... New Wave kind of told the story of what was happening at the time. Keep in mind, you also had New Wave's kind of darker sister post-punk at the time, too. So, where am I going with this? I think we found ourselves a legend. Billy Iris, nowadays. Keep in mind, I am not a big Billy Iris fan. I, she's not terrible, though. I like some of her songs, and I do think her f her first debut album was pretty good. Take, personally, though, know, it's just not my style, and I do appreciate her, though, for bringing back a little more edge to music, though. And I guess what I'm trying to say and ask is, do you guys think Billie Eilish could be considered a turning point where pop music is going to go what would eventually bring rock to the foreground. Because if you remember something for a second. In the 80s, everything was gram, right? You got a bunch of gram pop, gram rock, and all that stuff. Kind of like what we have now. But Billy, I, but we get things like... Underbelly, darker el underbelly of a world, like, um, like, post-punk, and even some new wave was pretty dark sound, and eventually turned into, eventually we got grunge in the 90s, and I was thinking, could Billy Iris for our time be like this turning point of music? What do you guys think? It's an interesting conversation, I think. Okay, have a good day.